Frankfurt is home to the new billion-dollar headquarters for the European Central Bank. But the inauguration was overshadowed by violent protests. Rochelle Kufo has this. The European Central Bank was finally ready to unveil its new headquarters in Frankfurt, Germany on Wednesday. But hundreds of demonstrators from the anti-capitalist group Blockupy and German workers' unions were also ready, voicing concerns over the ECB's austerity measures. Tough budget cuts from the ECB, European Commission and International Monetary Fund were meant to ease the debt burden for struggling EU economies. But for some countries, the cost-cutting measures also fueled high unemployment and slow growth. Anti-austerity protests turned violent as demonstrators clashed with police. Close to 100 people were injured and authorities detained around 350 protesters. The true extent of the damage remains uncertain. We already had riots overnight. Four vehicles were set on fire in the West End area. Three others were damaged. That kept going on. In the morning, stones were thrown at colleagues near the old opera and windows were damaged. In the meantime, seven more cars were burnt and the first precinct was attacked, including several burning garbage containers and blockades through the city. Despite the contentious backdrop, ECB chief Mario Draghi went on with the ceremony. He pressed the need for individual countries to shape their own financial futures. But the euro area is not a political union yet of the sort where some countries permanently pay for others, like it happens within one single country where regions pay for other regions. It has always been understood that countries have to be able to stand on their own two feet, that each is responsible for its own policies. Draghi thanked police and supporters for their efforts during the opening of the billion-dollar building. It's a price tag that some critics consider in poor taste, given the economic hardships in other EU countries. Rochelle Akufo, CCTV.